So we've just come down to the beach here, not far from where Conway and the guys launched their boats, which is just over here. This is what we were hoping to get. One of Combo's mates was out last night when we came down very early this morning to meet him. They caught this massive tuna here. I'm going to make chips to go with my tuna out of ugali. Where is the chips of ugali? Combo thinks I'm mad. Ugali is pretty much the food that drives Kenya. It's our staple, staple food here. That's ground maize flour. They make a very sort of thick cake out of it with water and, and they eat it with everything. So what I've got going on in here is one-to-one -one boiling milk and water and a big load of butter. Now just a bit of pepper. I just, I just keep on adding a little bit of ugali and whisking at the same time and it starts to get thicken up and form sort of like a porridge. When I bend up bigger. <laughs> just pour it all out into this tray here, flatten it out, and I'm just going to let it set. Right, now I'm going to get into this. So the tuna I made on the boat today, the ceviche, I'm going to use exactly the same ingredients and show you how you can basically, with more or less the identical ingredients, tuna and what we had before, you can get completely different dishes. Now I'm going to do a plan gozi. Watch I mean I'll notice I need. I've just sliced the skin along the top. The skin comes off and you expose this beautiful tuna flesh. So I'm just gonna make some beautiful steaks out of this lovely tuna loin that I got here. And all I'm gonna do is get them into this marinade, which is very similar to what I made on the boat. And we're gonna let them sit in there for about half an hour. Gully chips now. No no salsa, no quite boom. So I'm gonna cut it into these sort of chunky style chips like that. Then I'm gonna drop them into this hot oil. You don't want to do too many at a time because they do sometimes stick to each other and to the bottom of the, the frying device. In this case, I've got to walk. Anytime. Budding chef, I want to talk to one peachy. He's intrigued. Check those bad boys out. I mean, they're looking awesome. Lovely and crispy on the outside, quite soft in the middle. I'm just going to continue frying this stuff off. While that's going on, I'm going to knock up a very quick salad. It's sort of a warm salad that's going to go with all of this. A good handful of roughly chopped fennel. I've got the outsides of the tomatoes, which I roughly chopped. Some cooked poi lentils here. I absolutely love. They're just delicious things. Black olives and capers. The whole road. I take a very large amount of basil, and very sort of roughly tear it. Very rustic and extremely unrefined. Very good description of me sometimes. Now that salad is good to go. You guys are absolutely bored, stiff. Tuko karib, on bali. You know, I think it's only fair. Let them try a chip. Come on. Yeah? It's a deal. That's my wonja, wonja. Just salt them. My chips are done. I've got a hot sort of uh, griddle skillet thing here on my cooker, which I'm going to cook the tuna with. Now, I'm literally going to do this the way I believe this should be done, which is just seared on this so that they're rare, get a nice caramelization on the outside, and then we're done. Oh, -ho. hello. Look who's late. Just in time for dinner, huh? Still got your shirt on. I didn't catch any fish. No. Me nivio, tu nivio. Good to see you. Watch, I mean, I'm a little chakula, chakula. Get you now. All right, let's get back to this tuna. And they're perfectly cooked. Rare in the middle. Lovely sear on the outside. Just came out of the ocean. I got to say, I think my fish and chips, while not, not traditional, for me, it's a hell of a lot. Well, it's a hell of a healthier to start off with, and a little bit more appealing. It's going to get guzzled in no time. I'm going to pour all of this marinade onto here. And then I'm going to put my salad into it. See, you want to put some Santa. All right, good. Watch, I mean, I'm a little bit Tuna is ready. The garlic chips are here. My warm salad, I'm going to serve it on the skillet like that so it keeps nice and warm. We are running out of light, which is not a good thing for making a cooking show. So, guys. So basically we've run out of light and we're using a light from a torch, which is fantastically professional. Excellent. At least the food's done and the guys are eating. Kunam Nagani. Safi Gabis. Combo. Pol. Asad. I mean it's tuna. Well fresh kabusha, eh? Safi. It's so delicious. And the little salad that I made with the koi lentils in there, particularly in the film, really make a difference. My garlic chips is very, very good. The effort we went through to do what we did is extremely hard work. And the contrast between the two fishing techniques was massively evident. I reckon there's probably a small percentile of people on this planet who could handle that. You're the real man. Combo. You're a good man, Paul. Sidey number one. Way. And sidey number two.